Hey, welcome to the Love KC prayer call, where weekly on Sunday nights, we invite a guest to share about what's happening in their prayer life and in their ministry. And we welcome you if you're joining today. Thank you for joining and also for comments. We love it when people comment on what they're seeing and hearing. And then thank you for sharing. You can always forward these to other friends. And uh, in that way, we, we are hoping that people will grow and understand how that prayer really is just conversation with God. And people, some people have seen great examples of prayer. Some people have seen very poor examples of prayer. And so one of the reasons why we do this every week is just to try to help people understand how easy it is to converse with God. And we think the best way is by story. So we let people tell our story. This week, we're excited to welcome Solomon Dabe. Welcome, Solomon. Well, thank you very much uh, for having me. And Solomon, you lead a, a, a ministry we would like you to tell our listeners about, right? Future for Kids. Both of us, Jade and I, have been inspired by your life and your ministry. So tell a little bit about that before we jump into the actual questions. Uh, okay. Uh, a Bright Future for Kids is an, a ministry that supports children and uh, single parents in Ethiopia and Kenya. And uh, the story behind it is uh, I was grown up uh, with a single mom who had been struggling. And, uh, and my story goes back uh, to the point that I was on and off uh, um, a straight child. So life has been rough and uh, we have seen a lot of uh, uh, traumatic situations. So that's where it bursts out, uh, a bright future for kids. And God has put it into my heart from the, uh, a very uh, young age. So that's uh, now God has given me a place where uh, people are behind this organization starting to, uh, 2012. So uh, that's how it started. And we've been seeing a, a tremendous hope coming to the places where hopeless populations are, both in Ethiopia and, and Kenya, and uh, restoration of many, many single moms. So that's, that's the, uh, uh, simply the vision and the mission of uh, a bright future for kids. Yeah, it's wonderful. I've been inspired by your work, Solomon. And uh, it's exciting to be able to share this with listeners. Jay does a real good job with the notes in terms of putting in contact information so people who are hearing today could follow up with you and see how they could be a part. But when we think about prayer, what's at the top of your prayer list, Solomon? When you start to start your day with prayer, what are, what are the, the things that are right at the top of your list? Um, uh, top of my list is the balance uh, between the ministry work, family, in career. Uh, okay. So my prayer is just to have that uh, balance in my life. Uh, so it won't affect one or another one. So that that's the first prayer for me uh, to focus on. Well, maybe I should ask you to figure that balance out for me then, because <laughs> tell me a little more. I want to hear about it. What? Yeah. So how do you balance that? So, uh, not to gravitate. Typically, uh, I gravitate into a ministry that will impact the family. Okay. And, and vice versa. So uh, I need to have that wisdom of uh, balancing uh, um, those two uh, okay. as we go. That's, that's what I mean. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I think yeah. it's, it's wise, you know, that it's hard to do. Well, it's, it's <laughs> always hard, hard yeah. to do. Sometimes I, I could be drifted into one. Right. Uh, but it's both are uh, very important parts of my life and life of ministry leaders. Yeah. Well, yeah, we all struggle with that, Solomon. So I'm going to pray for you and for that request. So I'm going to invite our listeners to pray with us. And then as often as God brings it to their mind later in the future, they could pray for you and for the ministry and for finding balance. So let's let's pray together. Jesus, I thank you that you modeled the perfect balance between life and ministry, that you, you had this ability to be very engaged in the moment with your disciples and living your everyday life, 
but at the same time, you would regularly get away, whether it was early in the morning or maybe sometimes it was late at night, or you would take retreats where you would be able to connect with the father and you would come back out of that, that connection recharged and with clear direction and energy for the future. And so I pray for Solomon. I thank you for my friend and I thank you for his life. I thank you for, for his precious family. They're beautiful. I'm thinking of them right now as I'm praying. And I pray you'll give him the ability to be in the moment with them and to be able to set aside the work of the ministry into your um, care, like it's placed at the foot of the cross while he's with his family and, and doing things he needs to do that are part of just his everyday life for, for health and for balance. And then to pick it back up at the right time and to pour himself into mm -hmm. it, to be a faithful steward to the ministry you've trusted to him. Mm -hmm. For our listeners who are thinking about their life and their ministry, I just pray that, Lord, for all of us, that we would be able to listen to the voice of the Spirit to know when you're saying, well done, faithful servant. You can put this down at my feet and uh, go do whatever you need to do at the moment. And then to know when to pick it up again. And when to uh, to run faithfully with that toward the, the prize of the high calling of Christ Jesus. So thank mm. you for what you're doing. We pray your blessing to Solomon and for a clear discernment uh, related to this request that he's asking you today. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Yeah, such a great, <clears throat> I mean, just honest prayer. You know, I feel like that that is... Um, Something I feel like I constantly struggle with too, Solomon. I can definitely relate um, to that. And um, especially, I mean, in different seasons, but especially right now it's summer. Yeah. You know, and like when yeah. kids are at home and just have different rhythms of their lives, you know, it's easy to feel that tension um, to be pulled in different ways, I think, to know how to invest, you know, and build up, you know, your kids and in your um, home and invest in there, but then also invest outside the home too. And with you, you've got um, different <laughs> layers of ministry because a lot of your ministry is um, really far away <laughs> in Africa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, yeah. Building up, you know, community and just, you know, teams here and just churches here, um, you know, prayer teams and just lots of things, you know, here to be able to invest um, overseas too. So I can definitely see and understand just the challenges, you know, that that balance and just kind of this weightiness, you know, of um, what that's like to carry, you know, a lot um, in this season. So thank you for sharing um, with us. And, um, and, you know, if you're listening along, just continue to just pray for Solomon. And I'm sure others can relate too to feeling, um, feeling like that and um, in different seasons, but especially I think in in the summer season that comes with some extra um, changes and challenges. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. But thank you for what you're doing and um, we'll continue to be praying um, for you. Um, but the next question that we um, ask our guest on the prayer call is um, what's mm -hmm. one um, really big prayer request and um, that can't happen without God. And we know that nothing can really happen without God, but just curious yes. if there's just a really big thing that almost seems impossible if God wasn't to intervene. So uh, the biggest prayer would be, uh, we started uh, uh, both in Ethiopia and Kenya uh, to do a resource center, center that we rented. So we would like to expand, to see expansion of that and God would provide us uh, our own space because those spaces are a place of where a single mom can come and learn, uh, do businesses, um, counseling and uh, children to come and do after school programs and uh, Bible uh, uh, Bible clubs that we're running right now. So. We really would like to God provide us the space. And that's a big prayer request mm. of a bright future for kids. So presently you're renting and you would like to have your own space. Is that am I understanding it right? Yes, we are renting very small space for what we do in the community. So it has to be a good size of it, but also our own uh buildings. So those are the Prayer. How many of them are there, Solomon? Say what? How many uh, community centers are there? 
uh, two of them right now. One is in Kenya and one is in Ethiopia. Okay. So those are my prayer requests. Well, I would be honored to pray for that and for you. And join me along if you're listening along today. Let's pray together. So Father God, we do just thank you for Solomon. Lord, we thank you for his story. Lord, and we thank you um, for just ways that you um, are a God of redemption, Lord, and mm. you um, are a provider, Lord. We thank you that you have provided a way um, here for Solomon, um, and we just pray that you would continue to provide in mighty ways, Lord, um, in Ethiopia and in Kenya, Lord, if it would be um, your will and your way, Lord, we just do just provide um, for a facility in a community space where um, moms and children would see and just feel your love, Lord, your mm. that lives would be changed um, from the inside out because they would just know that they are um, loved by the one true king, Lord, that they would mm. just feel um, your love by... Um, just the love um, that they receive um, through a bright future for kids, Lord. We just pray um, for more of you. Um, Lord, would you continue to be all that is needed in, in Solomon's life? Would you just guide him each and every step of the way that he would just feel your hand, um, just guide him, Lord, and he would just know that he yes. uh, is in your hand, Lord, that you um, are his father. And we just thank you for the ways that you provide, Lord. In your name we pray. Amen. Um, amen. That is a big request. We'll keep praying for you, Solomon. Thanks. Thank you. You, know, you, know, don't, you need donors. And then there's the complexity of owning property in a country where you're not living and all of that. So we'll keep, we'll keep praying for that. Thank you, Gary. And then the uh, third question we ask Solomon is one that that uh, we'll let you pray for, because we'd love for you to tell people what you're learning about prayer. Uh, all of us who are praying are continually learning. I do find it interesting. That's, you know, one of the questions. We don't have a lot of the questions the disciples ask Jesus. We have Jesus talking about a lot of things. But one of the, one of the questions they ask him is, you know, teach us to pray. So what are, what are you learning about prayer these days? And then we would love for you to pray for the the audience who might be learning something similar. So um, prayer, prayer is a, a foundation, foundation of everything we do. Uh, <clears throat> and through the prayer, uh, I keep learning more uh, on abiding and listening. Good. Those are the two things that I, I continue praying on and pressing on those two things to, to be able to abide. And sometimes it's hard uh, uh, just to abide because we, we tend to want to see uh, some indication, but faith comes into, into practice, you know, uh, a leap of faith and say, say to the Lord, yes, I will do it. And uh, that has been a challenging, but, uh, those are the areas that I uh, continue to focus and pray. And then the, listen, like, uh, you know, that, as he said, uh, my sheep are listening, my voice. And the distraction might be, uh, you know, in, uh, pull you from every corner. So just to be able to listen to his voice. And those are the prayers that I would do. It's really good. Mm -hmm. I think probably every one of our listeners, Solomon, could uh, ask for the same kind of prayer. Mm -hmm. So can you voice a prayer for, for all of us who are learning to yeah. and to listen? We're good mm -hmm. at talking sometimes. We're mm -hmm. not as good as li at listening. Yeah. Yes. Heavenly Father, thank you for this moment you give us, Lord. Uh, Lord, every, every one of us uh, need to be abiding you and uh, to be able to uh, to grow in our listening, Lord, uh, listening to your voice. Heavenly Father, especially to the season we are, Lord, uh, your voices are what we need, Lord. Uh, Heavenly Father, um, I pray for every, every person, every person, every ministry, every church, to be able to abide and to listen. Father, uh, um, just... Keep us growing into uh, knowing you more and listening to you, Lord. 
uh, Heavenly Father, uh, thank you for just uh, uh, be patient to us, Lord, uh, up until we grow in that uh, character of abiding and listening, Lord. Father, thank you for your voice. Uh, Lord, uh, keep us grow in abiding you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. So good, Solomon. Yeah. Yes, thank you, Solomon, for who you are. And we just thank you for just your, just love for Jesus and love for people. Um, it's just a, you're a bright light in our city and, um, and across our city. So thank you for that. And I really appreciate your time today and being a guest on our prayer call. We will, um, would love to include information on how for people, people can get in touch with you with the Bright Future for Kids if they have any questions or um, are interested in um, knowing more about what you do. Well, thank you very much. And uh, uh, it is a blessing to be, uh, you know, surrounded people by uh, like you all. And that's, that's how God's work has been done in the past and continue to be uh, done. So I, I, I'm just glad to have be surrounded by you all. Yeah, thank you, Solomon. Yes, thank you. Thanks for how you live on mission. Mm, thank you.